In this video, we are going to discuss about multiplexers. Basically, multiplexers will be helping us to select one among n objects. Let us consider the example of our own processor. When we say like there are eight resistors, and if we want to select one among that particular resistor, we'll use multiplexer. So, multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects binary information. from one of many input lines and directs into single output line so here we say that input lines will be many and only one output line how to decide like which input line will be taken to output line it depends upon the selection lines so we say that the selection of a particular input line is controlled by a set of selection line so generally we'll have to per n input lines then n selection lines will be there so based on these n combinations we'll say like a particular input line will be selected and sent to the output so here goes an example with 2 cross 1 multiplexer the truth table or function table is shows like uh, shows like this and the block diagram like this and the logic diagram like this so if you see the block diagram here we show that if s is equal to 0 i not will be selected and sent to output y and if s is equal to 1 then i1 will be selected and sent to output y so here it happens like this whatever the input connected to the 0th input line will be selected to uh, selected and sent to output y when s is equal to 0 and when s is equal to 1 whatever the input line is connected to the first first input line that will be selected and sent to the output line y so the same will be reflected in the function table also s is equal to 0 implies that y is equal to i not and s is equal to 1 implies y equal to i1 in this case we can write the expression for y as y equal to s bar i not because this comes because s is equal to 0 and y is i not actually so s bar i not and it is i1 when s is equal to 1 so plus s i1 so finally y is equal to s bar i not plus s i i1 if you draw the logic diagram using this expression as shown here it is nothing but the logic diagram for 2 cross 1 multiplexer here is another example for 4 cross 1 multiplexer so this is a function table when s1 and s0 because it is 4 cross 1 multiplexer 2 par n n is 2 here so two selection lines will be there so s1 and s0 are 0 0 then y will be i0 s1 s0 equal to 0 1 y is i1 when s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 then y will be i2 and s1 s0 is 1 1 then we can say that y will be i3 so here according to this if we are writing the expression for y we can say s1 bar s0 bar i0 plus s1 bar s0 i1 plus s1 s0 bar i2 plus s1 s0 i3 so if you draw the logic diagram for this we'll get like this this is nothing but the internal circuit or logic diagram for 4 cross 1 multiplexer the block diagram shows like this four input lines two selection lines and one output line here we can observe one similarity between the multiplexer and the decoder if we remove this i0 i1 i2 i3 and this or gate and uh, if we consider these outputs of the four and gates as d0 d1 d2 d3 then it is nothing but what we say as decoder actually so here we can say that it is 2 cross 4 decoder will be a part of 4 is to 1 multiplexer so in general we can say that a decoder is a part of multiplexer dual 2 cross 1 multiplexer this is another type of multiplexer wherein two inputs will be there and each input will have two bits actually so when we are working out with a binary numbers then we require that each input will be having more than one bit actually so if you consider as uh, resistors 
Resistor size will be minimum 8 bits and it can extend to 64 bit and more also. So in such a case, the each input line of the multiplexer should be based on the size of the resistor actually. So similarly here we will see same uh, example like dual 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So this is one 2 cross 1 multiplexer and this is another 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So here we will say that A1, B1 will be the inputs and A0, B0 are the inputs for this particular multiplexer. So what happens here is A1, A0 is one number and B1, B0 is another number. And here when only single selection line will be used to select both the multiplexers. Here we are going to select both the multiplexers and at the same time Y1, Y0 will be the outputs which, which, which will be generated. So here if S is equal to 0 in both the cases A0 will be coming as output into Y0 and A1 will be selected as output into Y1. If S is equal to 1 then B1 will be output into I, Y1 and B0 will be output into Y0. So this is nothing but what we say as dual 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Suppose if we have a quad 2 cross 1 multiplexer like this it will be repeated for 4 times actually. So if you see block diagram will be in this fashion 4 inputs but here we will consider that A1, A0 to be one number, B1, B0 to be another number. So here Y1, Y0 will be the output number. So if S is equal to 0, A1, A0 will be coming into Y1, Y0. If S is equal to 1, B1, B0 will be coming into Y1, Y0. The truth table or function table for dual 2 cross 1 multiplexer will be shown in this fashion. S is equal to 0, Y1 will be A1 and Y0 will be A0. S is equal to 1, Y1 is B1 and Y0 equal to B0. So if you get the expressions for uh, Y1 and Y0, we will get like this. Y1 equal to S bar A1 plus S B1. Y0 equal to S bar A0 plus S B0. So let us say that if it is uh, extended, the number of bits are extended. In general, we can say that Yi is equal to S bar AI plus S BI. So the logic diagram based on these uh, two expressions if you see we will get like this. This is a 1 2 cross 1 multiplexer and this is another 2 cross 1 multiplexer. If S is equal to 0 if you see this will become 1. So A0 will become 1 and this is uh, 0. So here A0 will be selected into Y0. Similarly here A1 will be selected into Y1. Similarly if S is equal to 1, B1 will be uh, coming into Y1 and B0 will be coming into Y0. This is dual 2 cross 1 multiplexer.